This is Euclid Book 7, Proposition Number 7, and I'm going to show you this, and I want you to copy it. Okay. Now down here it says AE is 2, CF is 4, EB is 8, CG is 16, AB is 10, GF is 20, CD is 20, and DF is 16. Now I bet the first thing you're going to say is, where are all these things? Well here's AE here, and CF is right here, and EB is right here, and CG is right here, and AB is this entire length right here, and GF is this entire length right here, CD is this entire length right here, and DF well, where is DF? DF is this length right here. Okay. Now then, this is Euclid's version of mathematics. I know you've been excited to find this out, but we're going to do this. What is Euclid's version of subtraction? This is Euclid's version of subtraction. Are you ready for this? If a number be that part of a number, in other words, if some number being a portion of another number, which a number subtracted is of a number subtracted, okay, we're going to subtract something from something, and it's going to be in the same ratio as something else being subtracted from something else. The remainder will also be the same part of the remainder that the whole is of the whole. You should go, what? For let the number AB be that part of the number CD. Let the number AB be part of CD. Okay? For let the number AB be that part of the number CD which AE subtracted is of C, CF subtracted. Okay. AE subtracted, CF subtracted. Okay. So actually AB is going to be in the same ratio as CD as AE is to CF. That's what they're saying. Or that's what Euclid's saying. All right. I say the remainder EB is also the same part of the remainder FD. Okay. Where is EB and FD? Well, EB is right here, FD is right here. So those are the remainders. Okay. Now what's happening here is we have the whole line AB, we have the whole line CD, we subtract AE from AB, we subtract CF from A uh, CD, okay, we're going to subtract CF, sorry, CF from CD, we're going to subtract AE from AB, and the remainders are EB and FD. Okay, so... I say the remainder EB is also the same part of the remainder FD as the whole AB is of the whole CD. That's what we're going to try to prove. For whatever part AE is of CF, okay, AE is in a ratio with CF. So as AE is to CF, The same part is also EB of, of CG. Now what is EB and CG? EB, CG. Okay. So. As this is to this, so as this is to that. That's what it's saying. That's a ratio. We covered that quite a bit in book five and six. There's no surprise here. Now, since whatever part AE is of CF, the same part also is EB of CG, which we already established. 
Therefore, whatever part AE of CF, the same part also is AB to GF. This is by Euclid Book 7, Proposition Number 5. Now, what is that statement saying? AE is to CF. Well, as this is to this, so will this be to this. Okay? As AE is to CF, so is AB is to GF. That's what it's saying. Okay. But whatever part AE is of CF, the same part also by hypothesis is AB of C CD. So, we said as this is to this, so as this AB is to this CD. Therefore, whatever part AB is uh, is of GF. Okay. Therefore, whatever part AB is of GF, the same part is it of CD also. So, AB is in the same ratio to GF as it is to CD. That's what he's saying. This is to this as this is to that. Same ratio. Therefore, the length of GF is equal to the length of CD. Okay. Let CF be subtracted from each. Okay. We're going to subtract CF from GF, and we're going to subtract CF from CD. Therefore, the remainder of CG is equal to the remainder of DF. Okay. So, this length right here is exactly the same as this length right here. Now, since whatever part AE is of CF, the same part also is EB of CG. As this is to this, as this is to this, so is this is to that. Well, CG is equal to DF. Okay, CG is equal to DF. Therefore, whatever part AE is of CF, the same part is EB to DF. Okay. So as this is to this, so as this is to that. That's what he's saying. But whatever part AE is to CF, the same part also is AB to CD. We already established that. Therefore, also the remainder EB is the same part of the remainder FD, or DF, that the whole AB is the whole CD, which is what we were trying to prove. Okay? So, what we're saying here, as this is to that, so is all of this is to all of that. And that's what we're trying to prove. And these numbers, if you use them the way I'm, I'm telling you to, you'll find out that all that's true. Because after all, AE is 2 and CF is 4. Well, 2 is half of 4. So on and so forth and so forth. And I'm not going to bore you with all this. You can do all the calculations yourself. Alright. Anyway, this concludes Euclid Book 7, Proposition Number 7. I will tell you more in a future video. Stay tuned.